Hello guys, how's it going? Today I have a quick tutorial to show you. It's um, it's about making any patterns you want for a key shot in Photoshop. Uh, so what do I mean by that? As you can see here, I have an Apple HomePod, uh, which I modeled in SolidWorks and rendered in KeyShot. It's not the best render, I know, but it serves the purpose. Um, so as you can see, we have a mesh here on, on the top layer. And then beneath it, we have a kind of a cloth pattern kind of thing. Um, and the way I made those uh, materials in KeyShot is actually with Photoshop. And today I'm going to show you how to make these patterns. So what you want to do, you want to open Photoshop. As you can see, I have this diamond shape thing here. Um, so you go to new and you want it to be a thousand by a thousand pixels and resolution 72. That works. Um, and then let's say uh, you want a hexagon as your pattern. So you just, you just make your pattern uh, or your main shape and uh, make sure that it's in the center. And now what you want to do, you want to control J or you want to make a copy of the polygon layer that we have right now. So control J is the shortcut. That's it. And we go to filter and we have to go to other offset. So now offset, you just convert to smart object. Yeah, fine. And it's already on 500 uh, to 500, but you can change that based on your shape and based on the size of your artboard. So 500, 500, you press OK. And as I said, you can literally put anything here. If you want to, if you want to do a tree pattern, you can, a, a triangle, a circle, a diamond shaped square, anything you want to, even your own, you know, your own silhouette. So we save this as a JPEG. So I'm just going to save this as JPEG and I'm going to save it as hexagon. Okay. So we jump to KeyShot. As you can see, I have the home pod here. Uh, it's flat. I haven't put anything on it yet. And we double click on it. We go to material graph and what we want to do, we want to drag and drop. Okay. I go to our file and we just drag and drop our shape. Uh, so it's better for it to be white because you can change the pattern, the, the color of the pattern later. But since in this video we want to just do a mesh kind of thing, you don't, it doesn't really matter what color it is. Uh, so the mesh can be anything. Um, the, 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 the picture that you saw, I think it was uh, Mel with zero or with one roughness. Uh, so we're just going to do Mel as well. Let's say one and let's say we, we want white. How about that? Okay, white is good. Um, we can press this to organize our nodes, which were organized already. Okay, uh, so we have this and then we just connect it to opacity. And as you can see, this is what we have right now. So we're just going to double click on it and we're going to make it uh, smaller. So same units, that's fine. And uh, that can be cylinder. It's really based on your shape. Uh, preferably it can be UV, but my shape is not UV unwrapped right now. So I'm just going to use a uh, cylinder and we're just going to zoom out a little bit. So this is obviously you don't, you don't want this. Uh, so you choose part and so it's only wrapping around one single part instead of the whole model. And you want to play with, uh, with the dimensions. So you can unlock this, uh, this chain thing and you can actually play with the dimensions individually. So height, let's say, let's zoom in. That's too much. Uh, let's do zero five. I think, uh, maybe six. Okay. This is good. Obviously, Apple HomePod, uh, it's like, it's the diamond shape that I already did. But th in this example, I just wanted to show you, you the hexagons. Uh, so we have this and that's actually, that's it. You can do other stuff to it. For example, you can add a bump map to it. Uh, let's say a noise and you go to bump. You can adjust it from here. Um, you go down and the bump height is 0.1, we can do 
0.5, for example. And that's it. That's how you make a mesh in Keyshot. Um, and basically, you can use this method to make any patterns for Keyshot if you want to. Uh, it's just a quick tip that I wanted to show you. I thought it would be worth uh, worthwhile. And that's it. Please let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. And if you learned anything, don't forget to hit like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.